Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial on doing um, using Microsoft Excel as something like a database. Um, I personally dislike the way that Access works, um, and I really uh, like the freedom of being able to use Excel. Obviously, if you're trying to cross-reference tables and things like that, um, you're going to want something more in depth and you know a, a, an actual database, but for my purposes I'm I'm using it for things like sorting movies and keeping track of addresses and things like that and I don't really need that complex of a database um, one of the things I like about this is you know you can sort for example if I just actually don't even have to click in there but I can do data sort and I'm gonna choose to sort by genre um, and you can see how um, it's automatically going by the top here because I'm telling that there's a header row. If I do OK, you can see that everything is sorted by genre now. The other thing that's nice about this is if I go to data filter, I can turn on this function called auto filter. And you see how it puts these little arrows at the top. Well, if I decide that I only want to see specific ratings, for example, my kids are doing a sleepover, I only want to know what movies we have that are rated G. OK. Um, so here I've got this list of movies here and again if I want to sort it by title which I don't really need to with this many but I just do data sort and I'll just do title oh it's trying to sort by a second one I'm gonna click OK and you'll also notice up here there's an A to Z that is another sort I can sort it backwards or forwards alright so anyway I've got this filter now only the stuff that's rated G and maybe I'm only going to be using a DVD, so I'll just sort by also DVD. So these are the DVDs rated G, you know, and when they came out. So that's the, I, I can turn off my filter, my auto filter here, and you can see it's pretty easy to use. And again, if I click over here and click my sort, it sorts it by the field, the column that I'm in. Um, so that's, that's one use um, as a for this as a database and if I was to jump over to my other folder here um, this one right here is a similar kind of a database now I can sort by last name or first name again I can also filter so for example let's say that there was a you know a major disaster happened in the city of um, Daly City I can just turn on my my filter auto filter and then go down and choose a specific city here like Daily City and that means I only need to contact one person or if I say Kula I only have to contact one person alright so you can see that there Sacramento has three people um, maybe I'm looking for somebody who is in a specific area and that would you know get me some information on them or maybe I want you know to have let me get, turn off my auto filter here for a second and so here is the number of years somebody maybe has worked for the company um, or which department they're in perhaps I want to show just the people in department 3 okay who have been let's do a custom who where years is greater than 7 okay so now I've got only people from department 3 who have been here 8 or 9 years alright and I could still sort by you know name or you know whatever I want to do um, obviously they're all in California so but anyway that's a quick tour of the this auto filter alright um, hopefully that will be informational for you <laughs> I'm losing my words tonight. It's late. All right. Thanks a lot.